Hi guys, Elite here and this is the first layout I will be creating in this weekend's clinic which is all about using uh, bits and pieces from like leftovers from kits you started with but never um, used completely. So I have a video where I'm showing you how I picked the products. I made sort of a mini kit from uh, three uh, somewhat used kits and now I'm going to create two layouts and this video will show you how I created the first. Now I really fell in love with this paper from one of the uh, kits. The kits I used here I show them in the the video the first video in this weekend's clinic and they are uh, older Studio Calico kits. I got them on sale when they had, you know, kits for like $10 or something like that. And yeah, so I got uh, a few of those. And I think this one was the Valent, like the February kit or something from 2016. And those are always my favorites because they are full of pink and pretty colors. So this particular paper now that um, has this black and white dots and these gorgeous gorgeous flowers. I think I used it on Like three projects and I just want to use every little bit of it because I love it so much so You know really just pick your absolute favorite Don't save things for that perfect layout. I used to do that um, and I I think I can say that I I don't anymore because there is always some more gorgeous uh, product to use. So I really try to use what I like. Now this little um, ink came with one of the kits so I thought I would ink the edges and I do like how it looks but I am going to uh, I think at the end I I get rid of that because I don't like how I don't think it works with um, the feel of this particular layout. Anyway, I don't know. I'm trying to find uh, a more logical reason to why I didn't like it, but I think I just didn't like it and <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't have an explanation. So I'm kind of thinking what else I can use and I like this, but yeah, uh, it's not, you know, getting me excited about this layout. But this does so I just ripped the paper I think I've never I've ripped my papers many times but I don't think I've ever used the other part um, like I'm using it here and that really creates a fun uh, basic design and I can kind of build my layers on this um, and really feature that uh, pattern paper that I fell in love with um, you know it has this peach color and I think it just says ha 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 or something like that in this nice typewriter font in white. So I really like that. And then I had this idea of um, tucking in some pattern papers behind the ripped uh, parts. And I'm just going to fuss around a bit. I wouldn't even say struggle. I mean, sure, if you don't come up immediately with the best design in your opinion then you know it takes you a little longer but this is fun for me to see what I like move things around uh, see what works so I'm not gonna call it struggle this time sometimes it is you know when you try things and nothing works uh, but this was just fun I, I was really insistent on using that um, pattern paper because that the one with the flowers, the pink flowers, because I love it so much. So you can really see how I'm hanging on to every scrap I have um, <laughs> of this paper. <laughs> so yeah, stubborn girl, that's me. And I also liked that strip. Um, it's probably part of a manufacturer strip. I'm not sure it actually... No, I think at the end I... I lose it because it somehow feels very distracting to me. Um, when I'm designing a layout, I really want my photos to be the focus. And sometimes 
you know, I put stuff on, I like the concept, and then when I take them away, it just looks better. So that was the case with this uh, manufacturing strip. I just, I liked the idea of it, but when I took it away, I felt that um, the layout looked better. So I want to add just a pop of something different, some different color um, to just add a bit of contrast. It's, you know, the uh, paper I chose to mat my photo on is also very light, uh, like the other colors, but it's a completely different uh, color. So it's kind of an aqua color and everything else is peach and uh, pink. So I do feel it gives just a bit of pop and contrast to um, the layout and helps the photo pop a bit. I added some stitching. Now the photo here is, it's really more to get a photo that kind of matches the story. And the story here is that my baby girl, who is now a year and almost two months old, she she knows how to walk and slowly she's walking um, more and more. But her favorite way of moving around is what we call or what I call the Lily Hop. Her name is Lily and it's short for Elizabeth. Elizabeth, as they would say it here in German. Um, and I call it the lily hop because basically she sits like she's sitting in the photo and hops on her knees and that's how she moves around and she's really fast and if you try to do it yourself you will discover that it's really hard so those fat little legsies I guess have some muscle in them <laughs> and that's how she moves around so we have a hopping little uh, baby moving around and it's the cutest thing um, I haven't seen a lot of babies but I've never seen a baby do that thing so if yours is also doing it then I'm not sure I want to know because this way she's such an unique <laughs> individual <laughs> and <laughs> I'm just kidding uh, I think it's hilarious and super cute and I really wanted to document it. You know, the best way would be to make a video. I think I have a video, but I can't put a video in my uh, scrapbook. So I found this photo, which I think, you know, between the photo and the story, I think I can imagine how it looked in the future, you know, when I'm reading this. And I decided to add just a bit, uh, a pop of color behind my photo. And I used that cute polka dot uh, paper and then I thought hey I could cut that and make some sort of a fun scallop um, I kind of wanted a bit I don't know a, a bit of whimsy in this layout um, it's kind of very romantic I would say in colors and with the subject of the journaling I just wanted something a bit more fun um, to kind of match the spirit of <laughs> the story <laughs> And now I'm just trying to add that um, tab, but I don't know, I guess it wasn't working behind the, the scallop there, so it's going to go next to my photo. And I'm just looking around that sticker sheet, uh, trying to figure out what else I can fit. Um, again, if I put something on one area of the layout, I try to repeat it. To repeat it uh, in another area of the layout this makes for a more cohesive design so now I'm using these gorgeous peach acetate alphas that came in one of the kits and they are just gorgeous I'm not used to uh, using such huge letters and usually when um, this type of alpha comes in a kit I end up not using it, I guess, because it's uh, a bit intimidating to me because I'm not used to the size and, you know, the boldness of it. Uh, and also somehow because there are usually just one of each letter, I'm kind of reluctant to use it, which is stupid because, you know, it's better to use it on one or two layouts than not use it at all. And I will actually use it also for my second layout in this weekend clinic. And you'll see me wo working around um, the fact that I am 
using letters that I need for that other title. So I need H and P and I won't have them so I'm going to have to uh, improvise and I managed just fine to kind of assemble um, really Frankenstein that Frankenstein or Frank Frankenstein I don't know I, I have to <laughs> because not English and German are both not my um, you know native tongue um, I don't know which accent to use <laughs> so anyway um, yeah so I'm really uh, Frankensteining the heck out of the title in the next layout <laughs> Um, so here I went to my stash. Uh, I think, you know, you shouldn't limit yourself too much, especially if you have a stash of supplies, um, especially if you're looking for something specific. And I knew here I wanted some uh, small tile letter stickers. And I know I have my mini markets in um, this lovely color that really matches. So I am going to add the, the lily in my title uh, with those mini markets. So really, if you're doing this and playing along with us, don't feel like you can't uh, dip into your stash also. Uh, the point is to scrapbook and use our products. So I'm going to add my journaling on this uh, heart die cut, just looking for the right place. And there it is. And yeah, I'm going to add my journaling on it. And that will be it with this layout. What am I doing? Probably searching for a pen. I didn't want a black pen because that's too harsh. I thought about adding the lily part in my title in um, those kind of sketchy Amy Tangerine uh, foam letter stickers. But it was really way too bold for my color scheme and just the feel of this uh, layout, which is a lot softer. So I don't want any black here. And that's why I'm also going to journal in gray. And yeah, I'm trying to think what else, what else did I put on this layout? So I'm just going to adhere that heart uh, in that area. Oh, I think I messed it up a bit. So I needed something to cover up the boo-boo and there I'm just going to add it to the side there kind of tuck it behind the photo make it look uh, like it belongs there and cut off the excess and oh yes I want to add <laughs> the clouds uh, for again another pop of that uh, light blue that I matted uh, my photo with I'm not sure it's the exact same paper but it is the same color as the paper behind my photo. And I thought those uh, clouds, which I fussy cut from one of the pattern papers, I thought they were really cute and whimsical. So I am going to use them. And that's it. Now you will see some close up shots of all the pretty details. And oh, I'm also adding, yeah, just looking around what I have left uh, from the kids and really trying to. Uh, use whatever coordinates with my color scheme. In this case, these cute little puffy um, asterisks and some pretty enamel dots in that peach color that I used here. Yeah, well done me. So <laughs> I hope you're playing along with us and you feel inspired to grab uh, maybe some kits you haven't used up or it can also be a collection package that you've just used uh, or you know whatever just grab a few supplies and play along so yeah um, if you haven't seen how I assemble the kit uh, feel free to watch that and also there will be another process video with the second layout I created using this mini kit. And of course, of course, uh, head on over to Tracy's channel and see her take on the challenge this week. So thanks so much for watching. I wish you a lovely weekend and yeah, have a great day. Bye.